Hello friends, I thought I'd decide to record some more ETH raids. Um, I have some improvements over last time. Um, I suddenly have a plus four peony. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I should be able to score better now. Like four more points every game to be exact. Well, every, every match. Alright, first opponent. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a lot of Gunthras. <sighs> so what to do? If Gunthra doesn't die in one shot, she doubles. Yeah, that Gunthra should be able to be taken out, so it's just this Gunthra. That I need to be worried about. Her debuff is foes within four spaces. Interesting. Is there a way I can get another for uh, another? No, I don't think so. So it looks like Matthew will be debuffed by four. And now? Wait, why do I have so much stats? Right, I have a four. Okay, that makes things a lot easier. So I will have 58 attack uh, plus the 26. So about 70. That should be enough. Yeah, the fort advantage nullifies this boost. So, my calculation from before is still <clears throat> valid. Um, all right. Now, fall goes well. Um, this Gunther should be taken out. Good morning. Move everyone else into position. Yes, caress. Let's see how I did. Jump from this first. Looks like I was worried over nothing. Ready. Change of plans. Peony's gonna carry. I think I overthought this match too much. A little bit too much. But uh, first match went well. Hooray! Tier 21! I did it, guys! Uh, knowing and air are isolated, so I can just take on the left side pretty, pretty easily. And he takes out Frederick, no problem. Uh, he takes everybody out, no problem, so. Uh, this map should be pretty straightforward. First pot. Second pot. Nice. It's just an, another one of those maps, I guess. Boom. Pop. This feels too easy. So, I believe these units are boxed in, and I can go through the left side and just snipe a couple of units. Soleil is going to rally. Uh, no one's going to heal yet because the bolt tower hasn't gone off. But if the bolt tower does go off, I can get Veronica to heal, and then sh she'll get dead. He'll get healed in one shot, but does he take out my Matthew? So that's a deciding factor on whether or not I want to stay or take out the Azura. So he's already getting hit with a debuff of 7. So he'll attack for 52. So that's 18 times 2. Yeah, that'll be enough. Yep, and Peony should be able to survive. Maybe this way. So 
if I pay Veronica here, she won't be able to get that. And yes. um... we should be good. Looks like I might be able to approach from the right side. Matthew for sure is able to take out um, arm after the the fort. I mean, not the fort. After the bolt tower goes off, looks like I have a fort advantage as well. So after Matthew gets mined up, he has he'll inflict a minus seven, so thirty-seven and plus six. So it deals zero damage. So Azura deals zero damage, and she's faced with a tactics room as well. So this is unfortunate. He should have enough attack to one-shot Sonya if he's in advantage range then. And she's running mirror impact, so not sturdy impact, so that's fine. Oh, she gives speed and risk, so she'll have plus four to all stats. That's kind of a problem actually. Let's go! Is there any other way I can do this? Here I go. Good morning. Now, what else could I do? The deluge dance um, kind of puts a wrench in things. Yeah, I think the match is uh, over because. My, my guess is I'm going to lose this by one damage. Oh, I was I was so wrong on so many levels. So I would have made it out if May had been if I had danced for May, she would have been out. Okay. So something went wrong, but uh, how exactly did it go wrong? Or at least this is the question that I'm going to be asking myself and answering so that I can improve and adapt to other AR defense maps. Um, firstly, I'm going to go over what I thought would happen. And I like to say that I fell under the curse of a dancer's fallacy at this point in time. And by my own definition, I like to say that the dancer's fallacy is assuming the worst case dance scenario without actually considering the actual AI rules. And for me, this was assuming that Sonya would be moving first, getting danced, and one-shotting my Matthew. So if you look at the footage again, my Matthew did 46 damage, right? So he did exact lethal, and then there was the plus three bonus from Peony. Uh, what I thought would happen was that she would get danced by Azura, and she would get the plus 4 bonus to defense and if you subtract 4 from 46, you get 42 and because Sonya has 43 HP, she's left with 1 HP and then one shots my Matthew with a Mega Places but instead what happened was that Self moved first and then got danced so let's take a breather here and consider why Self was the one to move first so the AI has a very specific uh, strict instructions and it follows these instructions in the same way every time. If you play the same map the same way, you will get the same results, right? The AI is consistent. So that means that you can exploit the AI. And had I known this, I would have been able to complete this map. So what went wrong? It, the AI has a bunch of checklists that it goes through for each unit and uh, basically every unit, right? So, if we go to the first um, checklist or checkpoint, it's whether or not this unit has an assist. If the unit doesn't have an assist, they will move before units that do have an assist. And if you check all the units here, none of these units have no assist. Sonya has drawback, Soleil has reposition, Zelof has reposition, and then the two dancers have dance. 
Um, and of course Arm has uh, Rally Speed or whatever, but it doesn't matter because he got sniped, right? Um, but had uh, Arm survived or someone was in range, right? If Arm dealt less than 5 damage, he would be rallying a unit, depending on, I guess, slot order, and then he would have been dense. But because it's Arm, you know, obviously he can take out any unit, right? So that's why I took him out first. And also he has hardy bearing, so that's just a natural counter advantage. Okay, so the first criteria didn't work, so we move on to the next criteria. And the second criteria is that melee units will move before ranged units, and ranged units move before weaponless units. So as you can see, that narrows it down to three candidates who could move first. Selif, Olivia, and Soleil. And because there's a tiebreak between the three of them, you move on to the next criteria, and that is distance to the nearest enemy. If you look at the position of all my units, only Sonya is in range to attack Arm, sorry not Arm, Matthew, but as I capped before, uh, if she doesn't get buffed by Zura, she dies, so the AI will avoid that combat first. Um, just something to keep in mind. Selif is the closest unit to my allied unit, and that's going to be May, right? So that's why he moves first. So he moves two spaces down. Now the AI goes through the exact same process as I mentioned before. And that means that it checks if anyone has an assist, if they can use it, and so on, right? Olivia is a dancer, and she's within range to make use of her assist. So she moves and dances, because she's the next melee unit that is relatively, not relatively, closest to my allied unit. So she moves, dances self, AI refreshes its checklist again, sees that self can take out a unit, and then he does so, right? So after these two units move, obviously next is going to be Soleil, because she's a melee unit, and she's the next closest unit. So that means that she's going to reposition Olivia away. And that makes sense, right? So the next uh, step is between Sonya and Legendary Azura. So Legendary Azura is going to dance for the nearest unit. And then Sonya will come in. But finally, at the very end, to attack. So um, that's how the AI worked in this scenario. And how my mistake was thinking that Sonya would automatically get danced and then take out my Matthew. So what could I have done instead to walk away with a win? Well, had I known um, the entire process, right? what I should have done was obviously move Mei away. So if I had danced Mei with Peony, because she had an extra turn, right? I just ended the turn without using her turn, um, that would have basically let me win the map, right? Because then Self would instead attack the block below uh, where the panic banner was. And then everything would unfold as it did before, and I would be able to continue the map. So, you know, it's a learn AI is a learning experience. It's a bit rough and there's a lot of things to remember, but uh, that's, just, that's just how it is if you want to be competitive in this game. Alright, so next team. Okay, I believe Klein will be taken out fairly easily. Okay, it's a level 2 catapult, I don't need to worry about that. Um, with the Bolt Tower, she goes down to about 20 HP, and her defense is 23. So Matthew deals, well, he has more than 43 attacks, so he for sure takes her out. And Azura suicides, Klein suicides, and he's gonna be hit with minus 7. So. In, the actu in actuality, it'll be like 38 attack, which is All right. gonna be nothing. Uh, but he has the most defense, so he'll be hit with the chill defense. I might be able to snipe the healing tower, actually. So if I snipe the healing tower, so I take out these two buildings, I snipe the healing tower, reposition out here, and then I should be safe. Care to play? Yes. Or I can get rid of the panic manner entirely. Ready. I'll play it safe. 
So no panics. Yep. The glimmer of life. I'll get rid of this. And there should be no shenanigans. That was quite a bit of shenanigans, actually. Alright, so I'm going to start attacking these units. Maybe this way. So I'll just... Big and strong. Death's caress. Yeah, I can leave Aversa in range. Ilgo will attack Aversa. The other two suicides on Matthew, and then I can get the pop the next turn. Yep. That'll do it. Looking good. This looks like a vantage game. Yes. So, I wonder if Matthew can vantage everybody. Um, the answer is probably yes, but let's think it out. We have no rallies. No, we do have a rally. It's coming from Hector. But he doesn't have a lot of movement, so he's not going to be threatening at all. So, my prediction is if I take out this Lucina here, which I'm probably going to do with the dance, is that Hector rallies um, Azura dances after taking out, what's it, Yoon, Selica, and Lucina. And I have to worry about this left side. I want to leave these two buildings intact so I have like a straight path, straight unobstructed path um, in the coming turns. And I believe I should attack Lucina from next to the tactics tower. So big and strong. Here I go. So I'm just gonna leave Aversa here so I can smite her up later when I need to, and airs within range of this ether fountain. So I'm just about ready to uh, to make my uh, to make my play. If I take out the dancer, Hector is no way. Of, so if I take out Zura instead, and this is a bolt trap, I set up advantage for myself. But if it's not. This might be tricky. Yeah, so this Selica is insanely debuffed and she might be able to still take me out. Attack this speed for 7, so she'll be at 40 something speed. So what if I take her out now? No, 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 if I leave this Bolt Tower alive, and now? Matthew will be put into vantage range and then Selica will be taken out. Yeah. So it looks like I'm fine here because 25 damage is enough. Yep. Yeah. All right, Selica's so in desperation range, but this bolt tower should do enough damage to me. So I'm just gonna move here. Let's go. Good morning. All right. Ah, yep. Yep, don't need to worry about her offenses. That was relatively simple. So if the Bolt Tower wasn't there, I may have been in a pickle, because Selica, in Desperation Range, on player phase is basically her strong suit. Getting pretty close. So if the bolt tower goes off, Ronan is going to heal. I can either take out Thracia or Azura. Either one is fine. And I just need one pot. Alright, how do I want to approach this? So the plan looks like it's going to be take out the healing tower, smite Matthew in, take out Azura or Thracia. Maybe 
Okay, perfect. This is the trap. <clears throat> and that's how you do it. strategy here? Well, it looks like I can take out the healing tower for free on turn 3 if I make my way up. Alright. Yes. This is supposed to be suspenseful, but uh, yeah, tier 27, let's go. 